Welcome to the walkthrough video of Docs VCDM Certificates Demo Application Certs. Here we can sign up as an issuer, create and manage DIDs, create templates, and issue W3C spec compliant verifiable credentials. Let's begin by creating a template from the dashboard by clicking the Add Template button. From here we can choose some presets. Right now we only have one, the diploma, so we will select that. We can enter a name for our template, such as Masters of Computer Science, in the first field. In the content section below, we can alter the text in the credential, for example, changing the university to University of Doc. We can modify more fields, but these look good for now, so I'll add this template by clicking Save. With the new template created, we can now issue a credential by clicking the Issue button. Making sure that we have the right template selected, we can begin to enter our recipient information. We'll enter a unique reference, name and email for this person. You can also enter a DID. They are optional, although we do encourage you to use them. For this demo, I will skip this. Notice how the credential is updated on the right hand side with the recipient details. Clicking next will save the recipient and show the signing screen. From here, we can confirm the recipient information and choose whether or not to send them an email. Then we need to select our DID to use for signing the credential. I'm using a generated DID which was received during onboarding for this demo. We can now click on the sign and issue button and this will take the credential that we have created, sign it, verify it, save it and then notify the recipient of their new credential. We can also view the credential that was just issued by checking the credentials table and clicking the view icon. This will show a preview of what the recipient would see and we also have the option to download the JSON of the credential. It is possible to edit or remove credential templates and note that previously issued credentials are immutable and their display or JSON will not be updated. Newer credentials issued will use that new template version. Similarly, we can also edit and remove recipient information. Now we will check out the process of receiving a credential. We'll begin by checking my emails and seeing that I have been issued the credential that I issued previously. Clicking on the link in the email, I can see all credentials that were issued to me. Right now it's just this one. I can copy the link address or open a new tab to get a publicly shareable URL for the credential. Clicking on it will open the credential view where I can create a presentation. We can choose to view the credential JSON or download it, and this should be kept safe and private. In order to share with a verifier, we will need to create a verifiable presentation. This can be done by clicking the download presentation button. You will notice that in order to create a presentation, we need to use a DID to sign it. Recipients can choose to import their own DID, but for this demo, we will generate one on the doc testnet by clicking the generate button. After we have added our DID, ensure that it is selected and then click on the sign presentation button. After a short wait, the presentation will be created and we can download it by clicking the download button. This will save a JSON file to our machine that we can share with verifiers. That concludes the end-to-end -end walkthrough of the DocCerts app. Please feel free to check it out at certs.doc.io and leave us any feedback. Thank you.